Here they come, my two intrepid explorers, Charlotte and Elliot. I'm the great Aunt Lizzie, you see, and I wonder which one is coming to see me today. Ah, so it's Charlotte's turn. Here she comes, racing to hear another tale from an epic adventurer. And what wonderful adventures they were. So long ago and so far away. I collected a few souvenirs along the way. But my most precious possession of all is my extraordinary collection of teacups. Got your coat on, Charlotte. Come on. No time to count the clouds. We've got stories to tell. Now, let's have a lovely cup of tea. But first, we need the teacup. Which one? What a choice, Charlotte. I do really love that story. <laughs> this will be just perfect to drink now. So, are you ready? Ready. Then let me tell you the story of Great Aunt Lizzie and the adventure of the merchant's ring. <coughs> oh, yes, of course. Let me tell you the story of Charlotte <laughs> and the adventure of the merchant's ring. It all began long, long ago in ancient Britain, an island of green forests, majestic mountains, silver rivers and tiny villages. Charlotte had been travelling far across the highlands and into the glens. She hadn't seen a single person for miles, when after following a lane through the trees, she came to a place where two men were resting by a wall. A merchant and his young assistant were trying to sort small bundles of cloth ready for delivery. Not so urgent. Not so urgent. Very urgent. Oh, very urgent. And not so urgent, but very important. And not so urgent, but very important. All sorted, ready for delivery. <laughs> Hang on. It's just one pile. How do you know which is which? Oh, I was copying you. But I thought you knew what you were doing, Hal. Oh, sorry, Uncle Tom. Oh, you need to sort all those packages out or you'll be wandering around the village all day. Oh, Uncle Tom, where's your merchant's ring? Oh, oh. oh I must have forgotten it. Oh, never mind. Oh, we wouldn't need it today. Right now, about this delivery. Charlotte could see they were getting nowhere fast. Perhaps a fresh eye would help. Hello. I was wondering if you needed any help. Help? We have successful cloth merchants, and we don't need any help. I thought you might like help sorting your cloth out. Well, um... OK. I don't usually do the deliveries. Um, I just sell the cloth. My sister, she normally does the deliveries. Oh, that's my mum. She made a map, but oh, it didn't make any sense to me. Nor me. Uh, show it to the young lady, Hal. Oh, I don't think I have it, do I? Ah! <laughs> 
it's not the best map I've ever seen, but... Charlotte was always good with maps. She soon sorted the bundles, so you could walk from one end of the town to the other, delivering the bundles without having to run back and forth. There you go. If you start here and work your way up, it will all be in order. Wow, thanks. Now get a move on, dear boy. And I'll go and get my new hinges from the blacksmith. <laughs> They're top notch. It's for my trunk where I keep all my important stuff. <laughs> and whatever you do, don't forget this letter, Hal. Oh. I'll meet you back here. Oh, yes, Uncle Tom. See you later, Uncle Tom. Oh, thanks very much for your help. Hal seemed confident enough, but Charlotte had a feeling she might be needed. And a good thing, too, for it wasn't long before things started to go awry. I'm not paying, and that's final. No mark, no payment. But if I go back without the money, I'll be in trouble. And if I started giving money to anybody who came to my door, I'd soon end up in a terrible mess. I don't know who you are. You could be anyone. Charlotte could see something was badly wrong. She went over to see if she could help. Is something the matter? Oh, there certainly is. He has given me this letter which says I need to pay him some money, but it doesn't have a seal on it. And without a seal, he could be anybody. Isn't that the seal? No, that's just the wax. A seal is a special stamp. You press it into the wax when it's warm. And it makes a mark which proves that this bundle is from a real merchant. Every real cloth merchant has a seal. We have got one. It's in a ring so you can wear it. It's called a merchant's ring. So you say, but where is it? Well, it's not mine. It's my Uncle Tom's ring. He's the cloth merchant. It's true. That's why he has all these deliveries. No seal, no money. OK, Hal, you stay here and I'll go find the ring. Charlotte thought getting the merchant's ring would be as easy as pie. But of course, it was never going to be as easy as that. My Uncle Tom forgot to bring it today. I'll have to go home and get it. Why don't you deliver the rest of the bundles and I'll get the ring? Oh, well, it's quite a long way away. Over the hills and down by the river. My mum will be there. It wasn't even lunchtime, and already it had got so messy. She had helped Tom and Hal sort out the bundles. And she tried to help Hal explain to the woman that his letter was real. But the young woman was never going to be happy until the wax had a proper seal mark in it. No seal, no money. And she had thought getting the merchant's ring would be a doddle. She couldn't leave Hal without the merchant's ring, could she? There was nothing else for it but to get a wriggle on over the hills to the cloth merchant's house. So off went Charlotte in her old battered boots. She scrambled across the ancient highlands until, when she was almost out of breath, the path ran out. There was only one way to get to the other side. Charlotte took a deep breath. across, she set off once more until the land opened out onto a wild valley beneath a wall of purple mountains. But there was no time to admire the scenery. Charlotte had to get that ring. Hello. Are you Hal's mother? Yes. Is something the matter? Nothing serious. Hal has a letter he's trying to deliver but it hasn't been sealed, so the lady won't pay. Oh, I don't blame her. Why didn't he just seal it there and then? Didn't they have the merchant's ring? They forgot it. Dearie me, you always forget something. I wonder where he put it. And that was when Charlotte remembered about Tom and the trunk where he kept all his valuables. 
Tom said something about a trunk. Could it be in there? Well, he mostly keeps his best cloth in there to keep it safe from the mice. But perhaps... But when Charlotte tried to open it... It won't open. Oh, of course. Tom was supposed to get new hinges today. Oh. I'll tell you what. I'll lift the lid just a little bit and you see if you can wriggle your arm inside. OK. Ready? Ready. The lid was heavy and the broken hinges creaked. But as Mel stooped and strained, Charlotte wriggled her arm through the gap. You'll have to be quick. It's really hard. There was only the soft touch of silks and linens, but suddenly something cold and hard brushed against Charlotte's fingers. That was close. There it was. Merchant's ring. Well done. What a heavy ring it was, with a circle and a triangle etched into the top. So that was the pattern they pressed into the wax to seal the letters. You look after that now. I will. Oh, just a second. Give this bread and cheese to my boys. <laughs> Knowing those two, they haven't eaten. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Back came Charlotte in her old battered boots. Across the ancient highlands and down the mountainside. There was no time to waste. Charlotte found the merchants where she'd met them, sitting on a wall, looking glumly at the letter. I've got the ring. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. And your mum gave me some bread and cheese. Oh, hurry, we're saved. She was worried you hadn't eaten. Oh, she's right there. Oh, shall we deliver the letter now? Oh, no, no. Let's eat first, and uh, we can ask our new friend to join us. What do you say? Yes, let's. And that was that, the whole kit and caboodle. Charlotte and the adventure of the merchant's ring. I really liked Tom and Hal, even though they're a bit forgetful. It was amazing, wasn't it, that they used a merchant's ring to prove they were merchants? Did they get any better? Well, they kept trying. And after that adventure, they always made sure that one of them was wearing a merchant's ring. My goodness, time does fly when you're having fun. Come on. Your mum will be here in a minute. Your coat. Now, how did that get there? Home time now, Charlotte. Bye, Charlotte.